Oh no. All of our mics are off. What? You See? had such a good intro. I it did. Was, it was such a great intro. Run it again. Say it again. I'll run just it, do it really run quick. The video intro? No, it's fine. I can. Yeah. No, sure. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> hey, now welcome to Derailed, where we got uh, things and stuff that go on. I know. I like the intro earlier. Yeah, you did a really yeah. good job. I'm Jeff Caldwell. I'm Chris Boone. And I'm Jay Martin. Um, pretty much Derailed is what it is in the title. We get derailed by our conversations, other things that happen. That's right. And you guys missed something totally fascinating, which was one word for hot. Yes. Yes, that's true. Uh, we, so we were talking about kind of the weather, and we are talking about as we get into the summer months, we're basically going to be uh, almost like looking up different ways to say hot right. because you get yep. into that summer-like pattern, and we were looking up language, different languages to say hot, and Croatian, brut, is how you say hot, right? which makes sense because... It gets brutal. You know, before I worked in TV, uh, I never really thought about the fact that meteorologists, in this area at least, have this whole stretch where it's just like every day is essentially the same. Yeah. You're going to be hot, and that's all. Yeah. Hey, it's, everybody. They're, it's they're, hot again. <laughs> it's still hot. <laughs> it should be just like a what are we trying to cook outside Right. day. <laughs> yeah. And I think we've had a few attempts at that i've done the cookie i've done cookies oh, in the yeah, car yeah, yeah. yeah i tried the egg it's an annual it tradition it's not work it's just like <laughs> somebody made cookies on their car yeah somebody i made s'mores right that was okay i mean we are getting to the point to where everybody's just going to be able to make eggs right on their desk yeah it's not going to matter yeah well and so before we jump into talking about how hot it is it's the beginning of april yeah obvious obviously uh, let's see, I got it pulled up here. April Fool's Day. It is April Fool's Day. Yeah. Do you guys, you want to visual that? Yeah, we, because, you know, I don't think I've ever pulled this prank. And it is, like, a big staple, and I think that's very... I, yeah, I haven't tried to pull it since I was in... Uh, you know, I want to say elementary school, but I might have tried it in junior high. So Sorry, pull... middle school. Yeah. Nobody so like, says junior high No one says junior high anymore. <laughs> so, like, pulled a prank? Well, no, I'm talking about the the, the, the tie your shoelaces together. together. Oh, it is yeah, a staple. No, no. Yeah, like you see it in movies. You right. see it, like even like but cartoons where it's the bad guys. Like the thing is, is it's really hard to pull off. Yeah, it's really difficult to have someone stationary so enough. So distracted. That... Yeah, and the other one that's hard to pull off is the is the kneeling down on your hands and knees behind someone while someone else. No, that was easy in football. Football practice I'm all sure the time. Crazy in football, <laughs> we would just sort of... sneak up, and then they'd be in line because you'd be standing in line to go through your next rep, and then everyone would just line up. Someone walks up, pushes you over them. <laughs> Parker, take a lap. Boone, take a lap. <laughs> and coach sees what there we're are, doing. I mean, there are some pretty cool physical pranks that people pull, yeah. like when when they're doing the uh, leapfrog thing, and the person in front just falls down. Oh yeah, um, I've seen that one. That's evil. Truly, it's, it is. What's the word? Injurious. It's, uh, it's just. I, so we're talking about some classic pranks. Yeah. Right. So I just want to. I wanted to bring this up because we talked about National Days and this year, like in history. Right. They're saying here that uh, they believe that April Fool's Day started back in 1582. Wow. And yeah, that's. They're saying that it was when. France uh, went from the Julian calendar the, to the Gregorian calendar. And since, you know, back then spreading the word of anything took a long time, uh, people just thought it was a joke. They were like, we're not switching calendars. It's ridiculous. <laughs> That's actually, I, the history of that That's is actually cool. more impressive now. Yeah, so like, it's... Because I, because if you suddenly were like, yeah, it's November, and you'd be like, no, it's not. No. Like, I would... I'd be in the same boat. I'd be like, nah. So I was listening to uh, a podcast filled with a bunch of programmers, and they were talking about how much they dislike daylight savings time. Mm. And one of them said, you know, the whole world should just get rid of time zones, and we should all just switch to GMT. Yeah. And it was like, can you imagine if, if just one day the entire world was like, yeah, forget it. It's just GMT. It. It would take a lot to... It would be really difficult, be right? So, because be for us, so it would easy. be essentially switched. Yeah. It would be, right now, would be 4 o'clock in the morning or something like that. Well, in the, mili in the military, you're already using GMT all the time anyway. <laughs> and so it was... I was like, that's fine. 
but <laughs> yeah, but it's still adjusted for time zone. So your your time matches your, what we your, think yeah, of your, as like, the morning, right? Yeah, your your local effects still... would be like different. You'd have right. Your 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 time would still be the same, but you'd have sunset at you know six in the morning. Yeah, to, on it would the, just be one global time. Then it would like that would just change. I've had this discussion a lot. It would make it a lot more. It would make it difficult because if you do have a friend, I have a friend who lives in Beijing. Okay. And I try to calculate. Okay, I can call her or talk to her. Basically, at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Here, but if it was only GMT, I wouldn't even. I'd be like, I have no idea what time it actually. I mean, it's. It would still be. It would be your time, but it'd be like what the is whole world would be their. Right, the whole Action. world would be your time, but you'd have to be like, is it? Does that mean it's evening in Beijing? Or that would yeah. change our our concepts of morning and evening, and yeah. even like work. Like, I'm thinking in the news aspect, would you have a morning news? And technically, it's not. I mean, you would. It would just every day at I, I don't even know what Greenwich Mean Time is right now, but it's we're five hours, six hours behind. Yes, That's six. Right. GMT six right is, minus five. Yeah, so. so they're up ahead. So they're. Nine. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Right now would be nine o'clock in the evening. So then what would we call it? The, and then so... The evening news? No, it was, it, it would ju- there would be just no... News. It would just, it would be, just news. be nine o'clock. It, so you, evening maybe would Maybe you would just have... Maybe you'd start to classify it by your daily event. You know you'd have what? your sunrise can, news and your sunset news. I can tell that we're we're getting a massive following by this discussion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tune in at... 21Z for derailed. <laughs> yeah. 21 Zulu, 21 um, GMT. See, yeah. you know, speaking of nerdy things, I'm going to I'm going to bring this back to Star Wars and the fact that every planet in in the Star Wars universe seems to only have one time zone. One time zone and one <laughs> ecology. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, and I I've, I've complained about the ecology parts of that too but, because like from the weather perspective, um, so the entire planet's a desert. There's like no Hadley cell, cell there's no feral cell. There's how it's just how the, is it all a forest? It's an entire forest. There wouldn't be some belt like the weather aspect of me gets it, where yeah. I'm just like, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, I do that in a lot of sci-fi. Yeah, stuff. I think it's just easier because you don't it's want way like easier. Naboo it's... was like the one planet where like oh, we got some they diversity got land here. And an ocean. Yeah, we got some <laughs> land and water. The other one was just like Camino, all water. It's Tatooine, all, 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 all ice or you know, yeah, hot, all, all ice. That, yeah, it's it doesn't make any sense. Mustafar, all rock, I mean, a volcano. <laughs> but I guess as long as you're suspending your disbelief. That's true. About space wizards with laser swords. Right. I mean, that's... I'm still waiting to become one. I don't... Kind of like... You're too old to train, though. No, I, that's what they said <laughs> that's the, that's about... That's the sad thing. Is like you get to that... Like you watch it and you're like, oh, you're too old to be trained. And I'm like, so I can't be a Jedi now? Like, They said Anakin was, was too old. It, yeah, that and was... look how he brought balance to the force. <laughs> it took him a while to get there, yeah. but he really did a great job. <laughs> I mean, his son didn't start training until he was even, even older. Right? Yeah, even older. Like, yeah, I'm still waiting, just I'm like everyone so... else who's waiting for their Hogwarts Sorry. letter. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna just like the 45 year old Jedi trainee. <laughs> the... That's right. Yeah. See, and they all turned out great. Everyone. It did. Nothing, <laughs> nothing went wrong. Nothing went bad wrong ever happened with any of those at guys. all. <laughs> so, uh, back to a- right. April Fools. We'll, we'll get back to that. What is? Um, I mean, we could talk more history because it's based on the French saying. I can butcher that for you if you want. Yeah, let's do it. Because um, one of the first pranks they did was having paper fish placed on their backs and being referred to as poisson d'avril, which is April fish. To symbolize a Fish young, e- so easily hooked and gullible person. Nice. So, every, so that whole hooked. gimmick of put the kick me sign on, on someone's bag, bag has been around since. Now the Fish of April. Has been around since that's, the fifteen, um, fifteen eighty two. Fifteen eighty two. That's, that's like a much prouder tradition than I thought. Yeah. I thought like you know nineties eighties. No. Apparently You're talking about the paper? Yeah, paper put, paper, put, put, yeah, like, no. yeah put a post-it on there. I guess back. I sort of assumed that it was like 1950s or something Yeah, I like guess that. you could see it yeah. earlier, but... Well, 1500s, though. So, what is the, the... What's the prank that, like, when you think back, no matter what... The April Fool's? Yeah, like, what that you pulled off and you... 
proud of, I guess. Because, I mean, we've pulled off some that, like, you know, have failed. You know, that's the thing is I'm not super proud of most of my pranks. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's always, my pranks have always led to, like, reality. Where it's like, you hurt someone, Jeff. Way to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the police are outside. <laughs> I, I guess that's like um that's the thing as you get older you think about it and you're like wow I, am, like, I, I don't want to clean up this mess up <laughs> yeah yeah like the bucket over the door when someone well, walks yeah, in you're yeah. like i don't have a mop so, so we mess. can't do this <laughs> yeah you, we, i mean there are so many things you can do yeah we um, already, uh, tried to pull one on on chris he actually thought him getting employee of the month yeah was I thought an that april was fool's it. joke because everyone was like hey congratulations i was like okay april fool's good job by the yeah. way, everyone, <laughs> Chris is employee of the month mm -hmm. at uh, Ta -da. at it's our the recount. So we'll, you, we'll, we'll, we'll decide, decide later. <laughs> we'll know by August. Yeah, we'll know. we'll know. Supreme Court will rule it. <laughs> decide. <laughs> They're not going to hear it. <laughs> we'll send it back to the. You lower. definitely don't have standing. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> but, uh, so, I can't think of any other. I don't think any pranks. Else, we because we did because we did one when I first was in the navy and like we had a glass table and I took the glass out and we had construction at the apartment that there was a bunch of glass laying around so I put a bunch of pieces of glass and a golf club through the middle of it and so and then I left assuming my roommate would freak out about it and he did because I came back all my stuff was sitting on the balcony. And so it was like, this is the last straw. You're kicked out. Or like, oh man. And so I was like, okay. So I walked into the apartment. His girlfriend starts filming me. I'm like, okay, then it's got to be a prank because they're going to. Right. So we decided to get my other roommate who was at the bar. And we told him that my fish had died when they moved everything. He sent someone off to go buy a fish for 40 bucks. Wow. The it just fish of April it, comes it full escalated. circle. Yeah. It escalated. Yeah. Henry, my fish, they had my fish bowl sitting on the porch and they put them in another bowl in the kitchen oh, to geez. make it look like they just threw all my stuff on the balcony. We killed your and we killed your fish. <laughs> <laughs> my little beta. <laughs> and so it got out of hand because my friend is at a bar sending the bartender to Walmart to go buy a replacement beta. <laughs> right. So I was like, like we lighting should... my friend's bed on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it just it spiraled out of control. <laughs> I think that's how I think that's just how it goes. That is how it goes because people are because you have to one up. Like you have to kind right. of you can't just let it be like you got me and because otherwise you're just like I'm a jerk. Yeah, you're the April Fool. You have to you have to go back. Uh, I'm never gonna be able to forget the fish of April. Yeah, it's gonna be April's gonna come around years from now, and I'm just gonna in like a uh, the fish of April. It's going to be, it's, we're bringing it back. Bring it. Bring it back. I do the same thing on March 15th. I don't remember that one. The Ides of. Oh. What were the Ides of March? All I remember is it's just like Julius Caesar was that's warned it. about it and that's about that's it. it. Well, he, the, the prophecy was that he was going to, bad things were going to happen to him on the Ides of March. It's a good and forecast. They did. They yeah. did. It was, yeah. That was a really good it forecast. It was probably weeks ahead of time. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, "Great oh, lead man, time." Dude, the March. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, "Nah, maybe. <laughs> mm, we'll see." <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, another good one. I'm oh, seeing like yeah. a good couple of like. Are these just pranks? Oh no, oh, these are talking about some like other days because you know day. not everyone wants to do pranks. Not so not I was really, looking at some yeah, really. some other stuff. I'm not a huge sports fan, but here is oh, it's opening. It's day. opening day. That is a big deal. Yeah, that's a big deal. I mean, given the last year didn't have really the full season, so this will be a good one. And then, uh, well, I wasn't going to state that I think baseball is a very boring sport. I don't not. like it. So, generally, when I'm watching, we're going to have a lot of baseball fans calling in now. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot. I'm all for but the Ashes. I'll see how they do this year. <laughs> my my brother loves baseball. Um, I just generally don't keep up with sports. Yeah. Not my thing. Baseball on TV, <clears throat> pretty boring. But if you go to a in, stadium yeah. full of people who are really excited about the game, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. I, mean, I, I barely even kept up with the game, but I was just like, wow, the energy in this place is great. Yeah, I would say in person is much better. In like, person clearly, is Clearly, like, fun. going to a game. And even going, like, to smaller games is more exciting than... Yeah. And playing so, baseball is yeah. fun. Playing baseball or softball or, you know, whatever. I think super fun. playing any sport is... A lot more fun than, than watching it. Yeah. yeah. Probably more fun than watching it. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Yeah. 
but I know I said boxing. I'm all not, about watching boxing. I don't want to get punched in the face. <laughs> generally, <laughs> that's the one sport I'm like, like MMA. I'm just like, no, let's just watch that one. I don't want yeah, to partake. I'm not, yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I generally I even keep it to like, I don't really like to watch people beat each other up. <laughs> it's like, wow. Yeah, I mean, that's what I don't get is a lot of people do. They go buy like the the whatever ticket to like watch it on TV. Right. Like the big pay-per-view. MMA fight, pay-per-view yeah. and go places that like specifically restaurants have bought. Oh, yeah. There's to, there's a couple spots that like will show the fight and people get there at like 11 in the morning and they uh, they get their table and then they drink all day and then by the their friends the show up like, and, you know, 20 yeah. minutes before the fight. The last time I did anything like that, and I, you know what, it wasn't even close to waiting around since 11 in the morning, but it was World Cup a few years ago. Mm. That was a lot of fun to go to. Actually, it was when um, when Spain took the World Cup, so that was a while back. Spain and Netherlands? Yeah. Spain, uh, that was a long time ago, but I did... 14. Uh, over in Bibe, I guess. Ah, mm. Yeah, I still don't. Yeah. I'm like World Cup games are. Awesome I'm not. Though. Yeah, I'm not really. I, that's the thing is, I'm a fair weather fan. I'm Total not. You're right. I'm not like, like yeah, a... Spain, finally. <laughs> and then I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> that's how was with the March Madness. I'm guessing it's coming to a close. March sadness for it's a lot of brackets. A... Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I, I, I did the bracket, but I was like, eh. Kind of picked some teams I knew. Yeah. And see what happens. I don't. I don't actually. I mean, I know the Lakers, and <laughs> probably the Bulls. All right. <laughs> and oh, the Spurs. Well, you would probably not like uh, a little. But that's all. That, March Madness is college, right? Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> so you'd so be even three teams that were not. Yeah. In the same league, <laughs> guaranteed to lose. Guaranteed. They do a lot of sports trivia at the station nowadays. Do they? <clears throat> so I am tuned out 100% of yeah. the time. <laughs> yeah. Because I know nothing. See, it's, it's a good thing that we put this stream on in San Angelo, Texas, right around just sort of like the prime time for streaming, 3 o'clock-ish. Yeah. So that all the people who love sports in San Angelo can be like, wow, those guys are... Well, we can talk about other things that um, aren't sports related. We have Burrito Day. Yeah, that's wow. right. Burrito um, Day. And National that's sure to upset day. a bunch of people in San Angelo, too. Because look at that burrito. That is... That is that like mission that style like, burrito. Yeah, that looks not... West Texas burritos are something completely totally different. Totally different, yeah. Other people call them tacos. But we know better. <laughs> we, we know better. <laughs> so uh, then what's the best place around here to get a, a good burrito? I, don't, I mean, there are so many good places. Um, my personal favorite has been a corner shop for a long time. Hmm. Hmm. Have you found one yet, Chris? Uh, I think it's Ileana's off 14th Street. I have not yet tried Ileana's, but I need to That's because it's bad. a tiny little place. Yeah. With a tiny little sign. And it's and it says burritos. Good. Yep. And I'm like, mm, that's gonna be the place right there. Yeah, that's the spot I go to. It, that's. Um, I still haven't tried any of the Diego's, but I need to like just go. Just... Diego's is uh, an old staple in San Angelo now. And I, I keep because every time I forget, I just Ileana's. <laughs> I always think Ileana. I like, mean, if, it's if there, I find a good, good burrito spot or somewhere I like, then I stop trying stuff, and that's like the unfortunate right. thing. It's... I'm like, this is good. This meets what I've expected. Yeah. No reason to start, like, you know. Yeah. I still need to explore, I guess. Yeah. Find other places. I, I haven't been. I guess I'll have to try. I like trying new places, so that's why I was asking. I, cause I, yeah. I'm know. definitely going to try Ileana's. Ileana's, like, I'm... the chorizo, like, their breakfast one's good. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, yeah. That is something, that's what, that's that is something you end up missing when you move away from Texas. Yeah. You're like, I want a chorizo. And, and that's how, like, I when I left my oh, hometown... It was the same thing. I we had our favorite burrito spot, and then yeah. when that left, I was like, I miss it. We, that was like our staple for going back home <laughs> oh, okay. and visiting. We're yeah. like, we're going to Sevy's. <laughs> I don't think I've. I can't think of any Georgia, like staple that someone is like, oh, I gotta go. I you know I lived in Savannah for, like a year, mm-hmm. and I remember having. Of course, I went to like a really touristy place when I first moved there. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, biscuits and gravy in Georgia are totally different. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we put gravy on the biscuits. And there they put biscuits in the gravy. Essentially. <laughs> like it was a bowl of gravy with four biscuits floating in it. And yeah. It's like, I can't, what are you doing? <laughs> It's that I have. That is something like I don't miss because it's like, <laughs> guys, it, it's too much gravy. It, it is. It'll slow your heart down. You don't think sure. before something like that happens that there's such a thing as too much, too gravy, much gravy biscuits and gravy. Th- this is a problem I didn't know existed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, like if you go to like a, a big like a city that's got a big Italian uh, population, and you go to an Italian food place, before you do that, you think it's not too much pasta. Come on. And then they bring you a platter of pasta. Oh, and you're yeah. like, why did you do this? <laughs> yes. That is it's, one of my favorite. There is one, I guess, yeah. it's in my hometown. Yeah. And it's um, Salzburg Biscuit. Mm-hmm. And I mean, no one's probably going to go because it's in your hometown. It's my hometown. Where? Best chicken biscuit I've ever had. Chicken biscuits are wonderful. And I like. It was so bad because it'd be on my way to like high school, so I'd call, pull in, quickly get it, and then be sitting at school, and like everyone got jealous because they knew of the place. I and I, they would start putting in orders. People would get, like give me orders the night before, and I would go pick it up. Wow, you know what? Maybe we should do a segment just on weird regional food. I'm all. I'm I don't know if it. we were talking about it while we were on last week but i mentioned uh cincinnati style chili yes we ended on that with okay. chili on we top of on because we were we stopped because we were about to make a lot of people angry because <laughs> about, about chili the beans and chili yeah, and that's right. cincinnati chili that's right. and so just chili on spaghetti like the regular breakfast staple in new york is uh egg and cheese on a roll like you don't get breakfast tacos or anything like that you can stop by a stand on the street and say can i just get an egg and cheese and it's basically scrambled eggs with some cheese on a roll. <laughs> I'm about that. Bacon, yeah, bacon, stick some bacon on it, salt and pepper a little bit. Or if you're one of those wild people who loves ketchup on your eggs, they'll put ketchup on it for you. But Sriracha. it's like super simple. That's Did it. you just tisk Ket- at putting ketchup? ketchup? I'm not, no, I don't like ketchup on eggs. Yeah, me neither. What? I, yes, I tisk. Why would you do it? Because there's so many b- salsas better on eggs. Yeah. Sriracha is better on eggs. There's a lot of better options than and ketchup. If you, if you know how to scramble an egg, you don't need any of that. Yeah. Or you just mix in, you know. Well, the way. If, you, if, you make, if you make rubbery, sad, trash eggs. Ketchup probably you helps. You need ketchup, probably. Uh, well, he, some it, kind of sauce. It, here's the thing. is I start out making omelets, uh-huh. and then it turns into scrambled eggs. Okay. Omelets are hard. <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're tough. So then you don't have any choice but over, over sort of dry eggs. Yeah. There's a video of Gordon Ramsay on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Changed my life. I didn't think. I was like, I don't know even how I saw the video, but it was like Gordon Ramsay, how to make scrambled eggs, and I thought that guy's a jerk. Right. <laughs> and I watched it, and I was like, I'm gonna try that. Best scrambled eggs I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I can't. I just couldn't. It's incredible. Anyway, his YouTube videos. He's he's a he's actually a very sweet man. <laughs> like his family's around, and he's just like really kind and yeah. nice. And I just given every clip I've ever seen of him, I can't believe being, it. Right? Yeah, but like no, I I don't like, want you coming over and eating super food. Mild. <laughs> he's super mild until your kitchen is not in shape. That's fair, then. and that's pretty much it. I guess it, I'm probably the same thing. If your weather center's not <laughs> oh my, not taken care of, you just walk in. You gotta suddenly lose it in a British accent. A you call this a weather? <laughs> <laughs> People crying. You come, yeah. Call this a studio. <laughs> uh, now I'm I'm curious about other like yeah you're um, I'm thinking more on breakfast food because my dad always cooked breakfast so he, it was very much made to order. Oh yeah. So that was fine, but going to different places like chicken biscuits, obviously a big thing in Georgia because yeah. that was where the first Chick Fil A came from. Didn't know that. Yep, first Chick Fil A is in in Georgia. It's like a, a thing people go and see. Chicken biscuit, and then that seems like coming from here, where what you expect for breakfast is some kind of egg with probably some kind of red meat. Yeah. Right. I, like if somebody was like, "Would you like some chicken for breakfast?" Probably I mean, most people would be like, I'm, "Yeah." It's usually like a a sausage or like yeah. a bacon. But chicken biscuits are super good. They are. 
really good. I, I try, I go places and if they do breakfast, I'll try one of those and I'm always unfortunately disappointed. Yeah. Um, what is something that I had? Um, it, it's not specific to Georgia, but boiled peanuts is sort of a southern, like across the south. Yeah. Does not encroach on Texas. I don't think Texas. It, that stops general. like pretty, pretty right at the border. It yeah. is not carry <laughs> People over. People in Texas well. are like, like, why did you? Yeah, and it's really weird because like I drove to Mississippi all the time. Like it, as soon as you get into Louisiana, then you're like boiled peanuts, boiled peanuts. But yeah, like on the side of the road. Yeah, there is. Virginia does a little bit of a different thing, <clears throat> where they uh, they will um, boil the peanuts a little bit to get the uh, the red skins off of them, mm-hmm. and then they fry them or roast them, and they get blisters from being roasted. And they're just a little bit harder on the outside after being roasted. Uh huh. So good, incredible. This blister peanuts from Virginia. Give them a shot. And so they're called blistered peanuts. Just look it up. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'll just, look it up. <clears throat> my uh, my old boss lived in Virginia, and he would he would come back to New York with blister peanuts for all of us, and I was just like. Well, these are incredible. How does the process to create these things happen? Where you take a peanut, you're like, let's boil them. And then somebody else steps in and is like, no, 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 no. Let's boil them for a little bit and then fry them. Yeah, I, I think I said fried because they have or blisters roasted, on them. But I think yeah. they're actually roasted. So so they just, yeah, they just uh, either, I think, boil or steam them for a little bit just to get the, the skins off and then... I, yeah, I don't know. I I feel like like it's like three different people. Try, they're like, hey, make peanuts, and then like he grabs one guy and he's like, all okay, right, but, I gotta go. Here, take care of the peanuts. He's like, I'll, I'll boil them. Right. And, and then, then somebody, like, else, somebody like, else grabs him and like, boil. No, you gotta roast them, and then they just turn out amazing. Yeah. Oh, here, check it out. This is oh. Oh wait, I'll yeah, go back. I mean, it's gonna be a rousing picture of peanuts. Ooh. <laughs> Everything we but, thought it was, but you can sort of see on the um, hey, wait, can I... on the surface of the peanut. The there we go. Little, uh, blistery bumps all over. They're fantastic. That's hey. Right. You'll guess, never go uh, back to planters. I, I and... guess I'll 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 try it. I, yeah. Yeah. That is something I'm always willing to do is to try food. But still, you hear some things and you're just like, no. What's your one no food? You know you have one where someone's like so, here, and you're like immediately no. No. Um, I don't believe at any point that I'm gonna do any of the like weird fear factor foods. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, living things. I'd rather not. Just they should be well dead before I put it in my mouth. <laughs> Medium um, dead. <laughs> <laughs> just, just completely not living. By the time I'm, yeah, because I see, uh, you know, videos of people in Japan eating essentially like squid that still has nerves, a yeah. piece that's yeah. still like. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. one of them it's like activated, and, but they put like the a salt on it activates it like starts, the nerves, and so it like, it's it's it dead, you on the but way like down, the basically. salt like yeah, basically know. turns on the muscle twitching, and then they eat it. I guess. Um, Oof, I man. like sushi. Mm. I'm not gonna just stick a raw squid in my mouth. Because I'm not a big fan of things like clams or, you know, real soft tissue kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Ooh. What would be your, what's your no food? I hate mushrooms. What do you have against mushrooms? They're, they're gross. They're just, they don't, they're, they're closer related to humans than they are plants. That's it's not. True. It's, true. it's not something, I, it's, it's, it is a lie. It is, than... yeah, it's, I've tried, I, every, you know, every year or so, I try to eat a mushroom just to t- taste, see if my taste buds are, uh, no, still bad. Portobello, doesn't matter, on pizza. With, anything with truffle in it? Anything with truffle in it? Yeah. No, not that I know of. Give that a shot. Because hmm. it's not really like eating mushrooms. <clears throat> also, it's super expensive. Oh, that's so. probably why I haven't eaten it. Then. <laughs> like, that's going to be the first deterrent. It's not like because caviar is probably the same thing. Like, I don't think I've had caviar, yeah. but yeah, it's not bad. I don't think that I can. You know, if it's something super expensive, I'm not gonna. Yeah, generally, like probably some of that buy stuff it that's, anyway. That's like renowned as being like higher class. You have to eat in like really tiny amounts for it to even taste good. Yeah, like 
I mean, it's not that high class, but Dijon mustard is always considered like an elevated mustard to like regular mustard. But it's super strong. Yeah. It's just only use a tiny bit, man. And it's really good. That's a... I make a, a, a pretty good... Um, walnut encrusted... Um, oh yeah, no, I was looking to make sure Chris was right. Pretty close. And yeah. they're saying only a slight things make us different. But that they're closer to us than they are plants. We are again. That's a that's a red flag. To me, that's a red flag. How is that a red? It's acting like a plant. I don't trust it. <laughs> that's why you should eat that's it. Why I don't trust it. I'm I gonna eat it. Plants are probably like that thing doesn't act like a plant yeah, at the, all. The, what are you well, talking that's about? Plants don't like them either. Plants <laughs> rely on them, don't they? I don't. I don't know. I don't trust them. I think, I think mushrooms I don't are trust pretty mushrooms. important. Mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms are, are a super important part of, of root systems. That's. Good for root. I'm not a root. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even know. All right. Um, man, I, that made me think of something else in, in, that I was completely fascinated by when I took biology a couple of semesters ago. Um, but we're almost out of time. Oh. Uh-huh. I didn't but, talk about one sentence. You know, there, there's, there's like a part of our cells that like has no genetic relation to us and that like evolved inside of our cells, but it's not actually like us. I didn't yeah. know that. I like it. Yeah, mitochondria are basically like the powerhouse, they, they of, the powerhouse of the cell. They evolve separately, <laughs> right? Yeah. But then somehow they think when the atmosphere of the planet went from anaerobic to an oxygen atmosphere, mm -hmm. the mitochondria was like, "I'm gonna die," and it like sort of hid out inside of cells, and it just sort of evolved inside of us with huh. with all of us. So they're like completely like these tiny genetically like, separate. Yeah. And yet we would completely die if they, they weren't part of our it's wild. That is wild. I, I read it in my biology textbook and I was like I'm gonna read this again. DNA completely different than the human DNA than you know, the organism's DNA and I was like, What? That's crazy. I wish they taught me that in high school instead of that it was just the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would expanded on this. <laughs> Yeah. It's the it's the foreign um, out of yeah, it's, it's not related to you at all. Powerhouse of the sun. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. All right, we got to get out of here. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. That's it. That's yeah. it. Have a great day.